Captain, landing procedure initiated. We have to do a picnic here and get a selfie. I'm sorry, love, but the Elios retreat isn't taking new residents right now. We've had some issues, a missing person chief among them. But you're welcome to rest up and refuel here as long as you'd like. So long as there's no bounty hunter after you that's going to kick my brand new door off its hinges. Well, at the moment, it's primarily a collection of shipping containers and unused construction materials. But the plan is to make this place into a growth and education residence for the galaxies incarcerated. We'll offer job training and a support network for folks that otherwise just while away their days in prison just because they didn't have the credits to pay their own bounties. Get them all the tools they need to set up regular, boring lives like the rest of us. I know it can work. Have the notation to prove it. We did an 18-month pilot program before we started setting up shop here. We're happy to now call two of the participants employees of this very facility. They just needed some help getting their footing. And once this place is open, we're going to expand on that success. Well, thank you. Always striving to make my presence in the universe a net positive. But still got a lot of ground to cover. But I'm sure you didn't come all this way just to listen to me blabber. You're probably exhausted. Monica should have any supplies you might need. She's just out front of the main building. And our ship services tech is out near the landing pad if your vessel needs some tending to. And if you need anything else, or just want to talk, you come find me. But once we officially open our doors, the retreat's going to have to be a lot of things to the formerly incarcerated folks we plan to bring here. Residents, school, a place for reflection. Nevin, he handles everything infrastructure related, while I take care of everything our residents might need to get them moving along healthier paths. I make sure we've got the facilities to support everyone. I arrange all our occupational training. Even got my counseling certification a few years back so I can serve as a compassionate ear when people need it. That the truth? Because I can't say it's going to be easy work. But if you found the construction crew's missing man, we'd all owe you. Well, he was last seen a few days ago, so we don't think he could have gotten far. We sent our lone security officer to find him, but things didn't go according to plan out there, and now he's taken up residence in our infirmary. So if you're offering, we'll absolutely take the help. You don't know how happy I am to hear it. First things first, you want to speak to Greg D'Angelo, our security officer. He was wounded searching for our worker, Mr. Kilman's trail. He should be able to get you pointed toward Kilman's last known location. Uh, who are you? Can't a guy heal in peace? Sloan found someone else, huh? Well, hopefully... Ugh, you have better luck than I did. I managed to turn up some tracks outside the facility. Bit of a hike, though. Not sure if they were Kilmans, but Ixil's not exactly a bustling metropolis. There was a cave system I scanned nearby, but I got attacked before I could look any further. Next place I was planning to visit once I was on my feet again. I'd start there. Uh, I'm sorry, are uh, you lost? Because if you're here to enroll someone, I'm afraid we're having a... just a minor crisis. 
and it's going to be a while before we're evaluating any applicants. Where do I begin? It's been a cascading series of issues. The most recent is that one of our construction workers has gone missing, and attempts to find him have turned up nothing. Which is what this retreat is going to be if we don't manage to find him. So, I hope you'll understand why I can't take your application at the moment. Oh, that's awfully kind of you, but... You know, we could use some more manpower, actually. Speak to Sloane. She's been taking point on the... Well, uh, she'll be able to explain it all. Ah, I'm the facility's chief administrator, co-head of the whole retreat with Sloane. She handles most of the resident side of things. Making sure we've got the right people for the program and those people have the right tools to succeed in their own development. I keep the lights on and make sure things hum along smoothly. Which has been harder of late. Currently, very little. But once we're open, should that day ever come, we hope to have all manner of training and personal development courses available for our residents. Most of our staff are formally incarcerated themselves, so we hope to be able to provide a level of service unlike any other in the galaxy. Ah, I am the sole exception. I was a neighborhood administrator for years in New Atlantis, was tasked with maintaining the well section of the city, home to many of the UC's most underprivileged citizens. I saw firsthand what havoc the bounty system could cause in a neighborhood. Parents in prison, money funneled away from basic needs. It can become a cycle. Here, we hope to give people the tools to escape it. Currently, very little. But once we're open, should that day ever come, we hope to have all manner of training and personal development. Most of our staff are formally incarcerated. You actually found him. I suppose that's not the worst news. You dropping off? Didn't think we had any deliveries until next week. Got an invoice I can look at? Oh, don't get many visitors this far out. Not a lot to see at the moment, but once we're open, the hope is to have plenty on offer. Imports from around the galaxy, stuff made by our residents. Happy to let you peruse what we've already got in. Mostly just the basics at this point, though. Mm-hmm. Most of the staff here are. Got me for digital intrusion and grand larceny. Was in a bad place. Needed a lot of funds. Fast. So I hacked a couple of Galbank servers. Had maybe six years left on my sentence in Aquila when Sloan and Nevin swooped in. They said they'd pay off my whole bounty if I ran through their pilot program. I didn't have much else going on, so I said sure. It was hard work. But Sloane... The woman is compassion in human form. She stuck with me. And now I'm here. Running the retreat shop and maybe someday one of my own. Sure did. Anyone who commits to joining the program gets their bounty paid off by the retreat. Not sure who's footing the bill, though. I presume it's coming from outside donations, because Sloane and Nevin aren't exactly rolling in cred sticks. The construction foreman, Half Town, and his crew are scrambling their undergarments because one of their guys wandered off the other night. Probably a little too much glug-glug. But now the entire construction crew thinks we're going to slit their throats just because most of us have a criminal past. But look, if you want to get involved, Sloane's been coordinating the manhunt. She'll have all the info you might need.
Might be able to break out those mining skills in a cave like this. Show me what you got. Sometimes I feel sorry for them. Well, sometimes. Oh God, please, please don't put me back in the bag. I'll do whatever you say, just please, not the bag. What happened? You're, you're not here to... I, I was kidnapped. He caught me off guard after hours, threw a bag over my head and marched me off. But I escaped. But then his creatures started hunting me. So I ran in here. And I've got no food, and I'm so hungry, and... Please, take me back. I just want to go home. No, no, he kept the bag over me the whole time. I heard his voice, but he honestly didn't say much when I was around. I'm just... I need this to be over. Please. Please, can we go? Please? We're gonna make sure nothing else happens to you, okay? Oh, thank God. Come on. Let's get the hell out of here. Gilman! Gilman's back! Mother of God, kid. What happened? I was walking out, and someone threw a bag over my head. They took me... I don't know. It smelled like the inside of the first aid kit. I had to sleep on a steel floor and... Which one of you crooks backed him, huh? 
Us? Why the hell would we do that? Waste of a perfectly good bag. You're rambling, kid. Come on. <laughs> Let's get you cleaned up. You smell like used welder's gear. Mr. Halftown, I have some medical training. I'd be happy to... You stay away from me. I want whoever kidnapped my man found and dealt with, understand? I don't care if it's one of your people or mine or a fucking ghost. Find them. Of course. We'll do what we can. But... I'm not interested in excuses. I need to know who did this. Just find my man's kidnapper now. Ah, I, I guess it might have been a bit naive for me to hope for a happy reconciliation, but you brought him back safe. That's what's important. Here, you have my sincerest thanks. But now, we've got a whole new thread to pull on. What are the chances I'd be able to convince you to help us find our kidnapper? Oh, you can count on it. Now, Mr. Kilman didn't seem to have a lot of information, but I caught at least one or two bits I think could help us find our kidnapper. I want to believe none of them would. But I've been around long enough to know how easy it is for someone to surprise you. So honestly, I don't know. But I think those hints Kilman mentioned about the kidnapper's refuge are the key to figuring it out. That's right. Not a lot of proper facilities like that in the area. Which makes me think... There was a building we were evaluating as a possible site for the retreat not far from here. An old research outpost. Seems like a decent match for the description of our kidnapper's hideaway. Here. The facility's coordinates. Head out there and see what you can find. Thought you could hide, huh?
You seem to have weathered that trek well enough. Were you able to find anything at the facility? Hmm. It certainly is. Monica, anything you can do with this? I can take a look. Oh, it's encoded. Made to look scrambled. And done badly. Looks like... There. Seems there were two of them. Oh my god, it's all here. The accidents, the kidnapping, Greg's attack. These two, they did it all. Any mention of who they are? They're not with the construction crew, are they? Mm, no names, but there are a pair of ID numbers. They're with the Tracker's Alliance. The Alliance sent two bounty hunters? Here? What? Our bounties are all paid. I'm not seeing an Alliance contract or documentation. I think this is off the books. So, a couple of trackers have decided to haunt us on their own free time. Why? Doesn't say. It's really not that impressive. Used to sell these on the semi-regular in my old life. A cheating spouse wants to document all their flings without fear of their partner finding out? Just use one of these bad boys. It's computer hacker 101 stuff. And it sure doesn't explain why they've decided to harass us. That certainly seems in the realm of possibility. So then this is an easy fix. They're bounty hunters. We pay them to leave us alone. ...and make ourselves a target for every other hunter in the universe. We need to take a stand. Says the one guy physically incapable of taking one. We're not doing anything until we actually find them. Any mention in there of where our trackers might be now? Mm, sounds like they're on a supply run, outside the system. Then we got a little time. Given their background, and ours... I expect you're the only person here they might actually listen to. Would you be willing to act as an emissary on our behalf? Slate's not big on details. There's two of them, they're clearly armed. But that's about all we've got to go on. But trackers aren't usually the type to take prisoners when it's not required. So the fact that they've thus far remained largely non-violent... Well... It means they might be willing to negotiate. With the right person, of course. Which I think, in this case, is you. I'm certain we can find a way to solve this without resorting to violence. Let's just pay them and be done with it. I mean, we clearly need more manpower anyway. I'll hire them on as contractors. To hell with that. We know where they live. Let's have our friend here get the drop on him and send him to the great beyond. The last thing we need is the galaxy thinking that's how we solve our problems around here, Mr. D'Angelo. I would request you try to avoid any violence. But if you're looking for suggestions on how to proceed, well, it seems we've got opinions to spare. They haven't killed anyone. Not yet, at least. Which means, I bet they're willing to talk. Love, I can only guess at what these two might be after. But it's clear they perceive something about us as a threat. They're afraid. And all you can do with fear is try and understand it. So, just listen to them, okay? Hear what they have to say. And see if you can make whatever it is they're worried about a little less scary. Good luck out there. 
These bounty hunters need to be dealt with. I think you should offer them money, and I'm willing to help. Here, all I have liquid at the moment. Hopefully it'll be enough. Take care, please. Did I mention thanks for taking these two on? I had to deal with my fair share of their kind over the years. You don't get into that job to make it rich. You get into it to be your own boss and prove how tough you are. So, my advice? Let them know that pushing around a bunch of counselors just makes them look like bullies, not tough. Be careful with those goons. You looking for my suggestion? I don't think they're gonna respect anything other than force. But I think Sloane's not gonna be happy if you handle it that way. are you and what the hell are you doing here? And just who the holy hell are you? See? I told you Kilman was gonna lead them to us. Should have slit his throat when we had the chance. Quiet. Listen, unless you're here to tell us those convicts have decided to close up shop, then we've got nothing to discuss. I couldn't care less about the cons. They can huff fish innards until they rot for all we care. But this retreat, if they actually succeed, keep criminals out of the bounty system, well, the galaxy probably doesn't need so many trackers at that point, does it? And then maybe the big boys like the UC and the Collective set up programs of their own, just like Elios, put us all out of a job. Now, better to nip it in the bud now before it becomes a threat. Which is why I'm not interested in discussing anything except the date and time they're shutting their doors. Take the easy way. It's less painful, and so much easier. Hence the name. That's so. What? That's... that's not what this is. We're tough. I... I guess that's a good point. Fine. We'll leave the retreat alone. Can't make any promises about us being the last, though. Just get out, all right? There you are. You were gone for quite a while, love. Are you all right? Were you able to find our trackers? That's... That's the best news I've had in quite a while. From the bottom of my heart, thank you, love. This place, all of us, we are in your debt. There is just one last piece of business, though. Nevin asked to speak to you, in private. He's waiting for you up in the office. Ah, there you are. So, first things first, I need to say, well, thank you. Of course. I'm sure you're anxious to get on your way. It's just... the situation you set right, with the trackers, it's one we don't want to find ourselves in again. Luckily, we have someone, our founding donor in fact, who has offered to reach out to the Alliance, ensure their good behavior going forward. Before she does, however, she's asked for the details of what exactly occurred. I've already shared my own insights, but, well, she wants to talk to you, too. Is that something you might be amenable to? Our benefactor has said she'd prefer to do the introductions herself. But you can rest assured she wants only to thank you in person, hear your side of the story. Nothing more sinister than that. Ah, she'll be pleased to hear it. Head to Aquilas City in the Cheyenne system. Check in with Justin Sneed, her security chief. And I would ask you to try and be polite. 
She's the only reason we're here. Tower's closed. Come back some other time. You're them, huh? I've got two rules for this little bit. Rule number one, you're not to share anything you discuss up there. This is a private matter, and we're going to keep it that way. Rule two, you decide to get playful with that weapon, we're going to have serious problems. Think you can abide by those? Good. Miss Lance is waiting upstairs. You can go on up. And that must make you our guest. Please, take a seat. Now, you may already know who I am. Raisha Lance, CEO Laredo Firearms. And you I know all about. I can't thank you enough for everything you've done for the retreat. Truly, it's a project that's near and dear to my heart. Now, I presume Nevin already got you up to speed. I need details before I talk to the heads of the Trackers Alliance. Make sure their members understand the retreat's off-limits. So if you don't mind, I'd like to just jump right into it. Lily here will be taking notes as we go. Now, Nevin said all the various incidents afflicting the retreat, they all stemmed from this pair of rogue bounty hunters. Do I have that right? Good. Lily, make sure we get a copy of all that, will you? Yes, Ms. Lance. But Nevin did say you managed to get those two to leave the retreat alone. You mind my asking how you accomplished that? Two trackers and you just talked them down? That's quite the feat. I'm interested in the details, though. How exactly did it all play out? I bet they are. So, only other thing I wanted to ask, and I'm just looking for an opinion here. Is there anything in your eyes that could have been done to prevent this happening? That's good to hear. But that should give me enough to present to the Alliance. Thank you for making the time. Now, what you did, well, it deserves something more than just a couple of firm thank yous. Here, I want you to have these. They're a rare make, but I think you've earned it. Now, was there anything else you wanted to talk about before we went our separate ways? Something that's been on my mind for a while now. How best to help the galaxy's incarcerated population? Humanity's tried plenty of bad ideas. Throwing them in jail and forgetting about them. The UC gave that a go way back when. Took all their criminals to a penal colony on Suvorov and left them to their own devices. Well, those folks didn't appreciate that sort of treatment. Took over the colony. And now we call them the Crimson Fleet. Next, we tried making them pay fines instead of going to jail. Except if you don't have the money, that's no sort of improvement at all, is it? Bad idea after bad idea. I thought it was time we tried something new. That's where the plans for the retreat came from. Our attempt at doing things different. You make lots of friends in my position. Friends in the Free Star Collective. Friends in the UC. The sort of people with influence over things. Like, say, how much a locality is allowed to spend on Alliance contracts each quarter. When the Alliance heads grasp that it's better for us all to be friends, I expect they'll leave the retreat well enough alone. That's kind of you, but without your help, it might have stayed just a goal. You have my sincere thanks. Now, if you'll excuse me, as you've seen, there's plenty to be done.
all you've done. Well, well, I can't thank you enough. Just happening through our neck of the woods, stranger? Nevin told me about your summons. Our, uh, donor wasn't too hard on you, I hope. Oh, I can imagine. Well, thanks to your little chat, our donor's doing everything she can to upend the various roadblocks in our way. We're in the process of vetting more security, looking at some additional and more agreeable contractors. Whatever gets this place closer to becoming a reality, opening still a ways off, but we'd be going nowhere if you hadn't wandered in. That makes two of us. Thank you again, love. For you, our doors will always be open.